Donovan Ho'okano was born in Hawaii and quickly developed a love of sports. Football and surfing are among his passions in life. But when Donovan turned 15, something went terribly wrong. When I was at school, I was at school talking to my friends and things just started going blind in my left eye. After that, I found out I was bleeding in my head. That shocked me too. Probably within eight hours, the bleed started to increase, the vision loss started to increase, and then he developed um, seizures. The family had moved from Hawaii and was living in Las Vegas. Doctors there told them Donovan's condition was serious. Within 30 days, they told us your son would go into a coma and eventually he'll die. Within 48 hours, the family packed their bags and drove to Los Angeles to see neurosurgeon Dr. Jorge Lazarus at Mattel Children's Hospital, UCLA. Donovan and his family came to clinic. They were uh, referred to us from a doctor in Las Vegas. Here, Donovan was diagnosed with a condition called a cavernous angioma. Uh, the cavernous angioma is a malformation of the blood vessels in the brain. They consist of small pockets of, of blood, vesicles filled with blood that eventually, occasionally, they, they rupture. There's many different things that the team did that would just make us feel confident, make us feel welcomed, make us feel like we're part of a family, not just coming here for surgery. I didn't feel like it was an assembly line. He said, uh, the first thing he told us was, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, your son will be fine. Within days, on Donovan's 16th birthday, he was scheduled for brain surgery to remove the pocket of tangled blood vessels that threatened the quality of Donovan's life. I knew that he was in good hands. It was rare to see a team like actually hug you, you know, and say that don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. And their strength and confidence made me have that strength and confidence to know it was gonna be okay. After he had the surgery, uh, he was out within a day and a half, fully recovered. As far as I'm concerned, UCLA is not ranked number three, it's ranked number one. The experience at UCLA had a profound impact on the Ho'okano family. The family has moved to California permanently. Malia is now a surgical tech at UCLA's Jules Stein Eye Institute, where she helps other families in the operating room every day. And Logan is a chef preparing patient meals at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. With the communication and the kindness that we received as a family, um, there is no other choice but to come here and to be a part of an amazing team. This is where care is. I'm talking about care from the heart and this is where you get it. Well, I just hope that uh, he grows up to be a normal kid uh, and a good man. Uh, he's doing fine. Dr. Lazarus is, he's, I don't know, I can't put him into words. He's, he's a super, super, super good doctor. Uh, he saved my son's life. Now that everything's over, I guess I could just go on and live my life, grow up. Donovan says one day he will be a UCLA paramedic. I used to just think it was just a place where snooty kids went to, snooty rich kids, and now this place is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Lazarus is great, best guy I know. Thank you.